The threat of Iran by doubling down on its push to revive the nuclear weapons deal. A State Department official telling the Times of Israel, quote, we are prepared to make difficult decisions to return Iran's nuclear program to JCPOA. Iria Claudia Tenney, New York Congresswoman and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congresswoman, that phrase, difficult decisions, doesn't that wildly understate what we are giving up in this Iran deal? This is a terrible deal. It is dangerous to the United States. We're talking about actually Russia and Putin's operatives negotiating this deal for us while they're wreaking havoc, destroying and murdering lives across Ukraine. And this is gonna, this deal will actually cut sanctions again for Iran up to $100 billion. That was, remember, the $150 billion in pallets of cash? Well, not only that, we're going to be getting into hostage dealing. And we're going to give $7 billion to Iran to get four hostages back. So we're going to continue in hostage trading. It also uh, removes this particular designation of Iran as a foreign terrorist organization. The uh, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is now going to be released. Remember, President Trump killed their major, major general, uh, Qasem Soleimani, who was head of the Quds Force. They're going to release these dangerous people back onto the world and, and, and threaten our neighbors across and our friends across the Middle East, particularly Israel. And, you know, why are we doing this? The main reason that the Biden administration is doing this is because they want to do anything that's the opposite of what Trump did. But the Iran deal is a bad deal. This deal is even worse. And this just shows what it looks like when America is not leading and when there isn't almost what it's like without an America in the world. And Claudia, I want to get to this. Uh, top Republicans are now demanding a new probe into Hunter Biden's laptop. But then we get, it gets to the big tech. And are they going to be held accountable? I do want to say this. I want to point this out before I hand it off to you. Uh, the Media Research Center found that as many as 50 percent of all Biden voters had never even heard of the Hunter Biden laptop story. And almost 10 percent said they would not have voted for Joe Biden had they known about it. That's a significant amount of voters. So. I mean, will the media and especially big tech, is there going to be any accountability held for this story? We have to investigate this. I joined former Ambassador Richard Grinnell, who's demanding an investigation of this as soon as we take back the House. You know the Democrats aren't going to be part of this. And while they scream interference with elections, we have a potential criminal money laundering scheme between Hunter Biden being used by Joe Biden uh, to get money, 10% for the big guy. This is exactly what money laundering is. This is a violation of federal law. It should be investigated if, in fact, we can. this is what's happening uh, with the laptop. And uh, now they covered up, big tech covered this up because it was critical. It was three weeks out from the election. The New York Post was shut down. Now, uh, amazingly, the New York Times is suddenly saying, oh, wait, uh, this, is, uh, this is something that was actually verified 16 months later. And then look what also happened during that time period. 51 former spies, people in the CIA, including John Brennan and many others, signed a letter claiming that this was Russia disinformation, that there wasn't a laptop filled with evidence that would implicate Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and his dealings with Ukraine and Russia, our you know, enemies that we face now. So uh, this is incredibly uh, scandalous, and we need to investigate this laptop from Al. Uh, kudos to Miranda Devine for doing this and breaking the story uh, and also continuing to write about it. Just another reason people are going to be paying attention to the midterms in a few months because this is going to be a major issue that could be investigated if Republicans take over Congress. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.